Lately, I've been featuring various budget builds on my channel, showcasing the performance you can expect from them. As you might have seen, I highly recommend AMD X3D chips, whether it's the 5700X3D for the best bang for the buck, or the top tier 7800X3D for best in class performance while still offering great value. Both of these chips are fantastic choices. In the US, prices for the 5700X3D are pretty reasonable right now. You can get one for about 160 shipped if you look in the right places, combined with the fact that you don't need an expensive motherboard or fast RAM to maximize its performance. It's a no-brainer, especially for existing AM4 owners. However, many of my international viewers from South America and Europe have mentioned that the 5700X3D costs almost twice as much for them, making it a much less attractive option. As a result, many people are considering the 7500F as an alternative. It's on the AM5 platform and uses DDR5, which allows for future upgrades to a 7800X3D or even a 9800X3D without needing to change platforms. Recently, I built a 7500F system on an A520 motherboard with an RX 7600. For comparison, I also built a system using a 5600 X with a 3060. The 5600X and 7500F are priced similarly in most countries and many are wondering if it's worth upgrading to AM5 for the 7500F. For reference, all the vanilla Ryzen 5000 chips will perform similarly in Tarkov. So this comparison is relevant even if you have a 5700X, 5800X, 5900X, 5950, any of the vanilla 5000s. For this video, I pulled footage from my recent live streams using the 5600X and 3060 build and compared it with footage from another live stream earlier this week using my 7500F plus RX 7600 build. These two GPUs are in approximately the same price range with the RX 7600 generally considered a slightly better GPU than the 3060, depending on where you stand. They're, they're pretty equal though. They're both really good in 1080 and perform well in 1440 with DLSS or FSR. In Tarkov, the bottleneck is primarily on the CPU side anyways. The big question for most people is how is the performance on Streets of Tarkov? As there are a lot of chips that can perform pretty well, like up to 100 FPS or more on all the other maps, Streets of Tarkov is the real test, I would say. So here's side-by-side -side footage of these systems. Please note that the footage is pulled from my live stream recordings like I said earlier. I wasn't initially planning on comparing these builds side-by-side, -side, but I received many requests for it, so therefore the footage isn't captured from the exact same spots, but they are in the general same areas of the map. I will do more in-depth comparisons like I do in my series Face-Off in the near future if there's more interest though. For now, I hope this quick general comparison from my live stream recordings provides a good overview for you. Personally, I don't think it's worth moving up to a 7500F just because it's on AM5 and DDR5 if you're on a vanilla Ryzen 5000 right now. If you have decently fast DDR4 and you tune your PBO settings a little bit, you can get great performance and you're not going to get very much more out of a 7500F. So I'd only recommend spending some of your hard-earned money if you're going to be able to get a 5700X3D. I wouldn't go to a 7500F from an existing vanilla Ryzen 5000 setup. If you're curious about the performance difference between an AM4 X3D chip and the 7500F, I've linked my 5800X3D versus 7500F video in the upper right hand corner. Feel free to check it out. I also have a comparison of the 5800X3D versus the 5700X3D. The TLDR is that they're essentially equal in Tarkov performance, so the 5700X3D is the better choice for its lower cost. I hope this quick comparison was helpful for you. If it was, please quick scope the like button using an MP18 with the pullout scope. If you'd like to see more in-depth comparisons, leave your suggestions in the comment section below or join my Discord and shoot me a message. My username is Piri and I'm always happy to have a chat. Our community is growing every day with over 700 members now. Special thanks to my Purology Pro members. We've gained quite a few members this month and I'm super grateful for your support. From the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. It means a lot to me as I continue this journey toward becoming a full-time content creator. Alright, that's all I've got for this one. It's time for me to get back to the grind. I love and appreciate you all. See you in the next one.